Gatlin, Powell, Gay, Rogers, Oginodi, and Amir Webb. Well, the Chinese really are having a resurgence in sprinting and indeed many events in track and field. Bing Chan Su ran sub 10 seconds here in Eugene last year. And what a year it was for this young man from Canada, Andre de Grasse, joint bronze medalist at the World Championships in Beijing. Still a controversial figure, Justin Gatlin. He was talking about his, his kind of alter ego that uh, when he gets out on the track, he says, I'm a nice guy off the track, don't mess with me on the track. And he'll be looking to come away with the win. He's had a few um, little niggling injury problems in preparations for this outdoor season. He hasn't started as quick as he did last year in 2015, that's for sure. Asafa Powell, 33 years of age now, run under 10 seconds I've lost count he has as well to be honest not yet this year though 10 0 4 his best and Tyson Gay his troubled career drug suspensions as well for him drug suspension but Gay looking again we'll be hoping that he can get into the American team Mike Rogers 31 a lot of experience in this field here, but no Bromel, new uh, youngster on the block, if you like, of American sprinting. Loganode still has the world's quickest time, 9.91, but that was done a few weeks back. And he hasn't looked quite as good as that since. In contrast to this man, Amir Webb, great performance from him in Doha. First time in League of the Season, running sub-20 seconds for 200 metres. 25-year-old having a resurgence in his career. Really ideal conditions here in Eugene. Warm, gentle breeze on the backs of these sprinters all the way down the home straight. Powell and Gay taking on Justin Gatlin three of the biggest names in world sprinting over the, the past few years, of course, only the big man missing. Breeze just picking up. Uh, well, Oginodi couldn't wait, could he? Lane seven. And if he gets a warning, he, again, he's a very lucky man. You know, once you're into the set position and you fall forward like that, you know, that is, certainly in the old days, a false start. But sometimes, if it's deemed that he lost his balance, and as I said, you have to be still for when the gun is going to go. So the gun, had, gun hadn't gone yet. I'll be interested to see what the starter marksman says. Well, I think I would bet on a false start, but there could be a green card. You're quite right. Uh, but it was blatant for me. And uh, Oganodi, if he does survive, it would be very fortunate. Well, we had a yellow card in the uh, men's 110 hurdles earlier on for a very similar incident. The yellow card is uh, a warning to the individual athlete. The green card is for the whole field. There's a technical issue. And I'm being told that he is a very lucky man. Do they ever disqualify people in America? I don't know, but it's clear. That is absolutely clear to me that... Uh, well, as I said to you, in the old days, that is just a false start. Uh, but he lost his balance, so he's been given the benefit of the doubt. I suppose the view is he didn't attempt to make a false start. He lost his balance. You're very kind. I am. People believe that. So the men's 100, Sue, DeGrasse, Gatlin in three, Powell in four, Gay in five, Rogers in six, Oganodi seven, Amir Webb in eight. <laughs> Cleanly away this time, Gatlin gets a cracking start, leaves a Safa Powell a metre behind and continues to go away. It's Gatlin with the lead at the minute, here comes Powell, but he's not going to get there. Gatlin wins it, 9.85. And Gatlin finally producing a fast run this year. Easily his quickest, it's been rounded up, it's been taken up a little bit at 9.88 and for the first time today, the wind, I just said that Breeze did just pick up when they're on the start line, so it won't be a legal time, plus 2.6.
the 9.88, it was a comfortable win in the end. Powell hung on for second place. Gay just getting the nod for third. Well, he did get a good start, did uh, Gatlin, and he does get away well, and uh, he held it, and uh, there's nothing the rest could do, really. And uh, certainly Asafa Powell got the second place, and uh, Tyson Gay sneaked into third. 988, 994, 998. So the first four under 10 seconds flat. But uh, Gatlin now is recovering from that foot injury, clearly, and they're beginning to get high on his toes. His hips are high. He's looking very, very confident. Another little look at this. Very powerful. Look at it. He comes up very slowly. His head comes up very slowly. That's good technique. Asafa now really working so hard because he's lost a few meters at the start and he never recovered it, although he did get second place. So the win confirmed for Justin Gatlin, 9.88. It's not a world-leading time because it was plus 2.6.